this is Alokthon Plays, and I was asked to make a quick video showing you how to create farms and how to power them. Um, so I hope this won't take very long, but here are a few things that I have learned. Uh, I, I'm basically going to go through the entire process, starting with missions and or getting blueprints from the anomaly and how to power things. Farming in Beyond isn't a whole lot different than it was before Beyond, except for the addition of power. But with the addition of uh, activated Indium farms in No Man's Sky, not a lot of people are still doing uh, farming, which I think is a shame because I quite like it. Before they introduced Beyond, you had to go through all of the farming quests that you get at the beginning of, of the game in order to farm. Now you can just get the blueprints at the anomaly if you have already uh, had a save game where you've done all the farming quests, which makes it a lot easier to start up a second save game. This is a save I started about and you can see that I have most, if not all, of my base technicians here. I have my base overseer, I have the scientist, I have the weapons technician, I have the farmer, and I have the Exocraft Technician. You can also see here that I've already started a bit of the farming. I've planted a solar vine, some gut rot flower, and some frost wart. For new players, I recommend that you do all of the primary missions the first time through, including the weapons re research, the agricultural research. Let's see, do I still have a science research? Uh, I, I still have a, an exocraft mission to do. That's because these act as the tutorials in the games. With Beyond, you can bypass most of these by just getting a bunch of blueprints at the anomaly, which I'll show in a second. But there are a whole bunch of plants that, that you can grow from. Uh, Gravitino balls to al album and pearls to nip nip buds, and all of them require you to talk to the farmer and go 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 through the quest, gather resource, plant a thing, harvest a thing, and then go on to the next. The farmer will send you to the various biomes in order to get the supplies that you need. This happens to be a toxic biome. Uh, and I am searching for fungal mold and ammonia. I happen to be right next to an ammonia resource. Just a reminder when you're using your terrain man manipulator to make the size of the thing of, of your ray, for lack of a better term, as small as possible. That makes it that much more efficient when you're mining. And now I'm looking for the fungal clusters, which you can see over here. They show up with this icon that looks like a little plant in a diamond. When you're harvesting minerals from the ground, you want to use your train manipulator. But when you're harvesting plants, you use a different button, which on the PS4 happens to be the square. So currently I need to plant a fungal mold, such an unpleasant name. So I needed 50 fungal mold and 25 ammonia. I have twice that of both. And then you need to wait for it to grow. That's an overview of how the farmer works. I happened to collect more than I needed, so I have enough to offer him more here. This is when you go on to the next step. And now he wants, they want me to plant gamma weed, for which I'd need gamma root and uranium. So I would need to go to an irradiated biome planet, gather those things, plant them, harvest them, and give them to the farmer. You do that for... As was mentioned earlier, you can get all of the blueprints you need to farm at the Construction Research Center, the Construction Research Station 
on the anomaly. Here we go. You can get the hydroponic trays. You can get all the things that go with the various biomes. The Venom Urchin, the Gravitino host, which gives you Gravitino balls. The, the Venom Urchin gives you uh, sac venom. Gut Rot Flower get, gives you facium. Mordite Root gives you more Mordite. Album and Pearl Orb gives you Album and Pearls. And Nip Nip is a special case. But these things have to be planted in hydroponic trays. They cannot be grown in the ground unless you glitch build. And that is a whole nother topic. I wanted to mention all of these. Uh, you, you can get the uh, blueprints here, but in order to plant them, you have to go to that biome and get your first sample. For Frostwort, for instance, you need 25 Frostwort and also Dioxite. For fungal clusters, you need uh, uh, some fungal cluster and some uh, ammonia. Gamma Nip Nip, you can only grow if you get Nip Nip buds from somewhere else. Okay. I have switched my save game to one that happens to have all of the pieces I need in order to continue this tutorial. Once you have all the blueprints you need, either from the anomaly or from your farmer quests, there are basically four ways to farm. You can plant things directly into the ground. Now, of course, you need to be in the biome uh, that is required for that plant. So this particular planet happens to be a lush planet, so I can plant a star bramble directly into the ground. Again, I'll need 50 star bulb and a 25 paraffinium. Oops. But I can just plant all the live long day as long as I have those resources. One trick is to go into the build menu, which on uh, PS4 is pressing in uh, L3, uh, and that allows it, it makes it a lot easier to plant into rows. And when those grow up, you'll have all the popcorn and pretzels that you need. The great thing about doing this is that it doesn't require any power. And if No Man's Sky, if Hello Games decides to make any more changes in power, they might orphan a bunch of farms like they did this time. The other way to plant is with hydroponic trays. Now you can use hydroponic trays out in the open, just like out here. You can use them in prefabs, like this circular prefab, or these cubicle rooms. I happen to use glass because I like glass. This is a pretty easy thing to do. You just come in and select your prefab, or your hydroponic tray, and install them. Now you'll notice right now that nothing is powered, but all you need to do is power the room itself and you're good to go. I'm not going to go into how to power things. There are plenty of other tutorials on that. So I happen to build this little demo base right on a power hotspot. So come over here and on each building you'll hit these places. I've heard them called transformers. But each prefab building will have this little thing on the edge. It's usually there are four of them on a circular building. There are there's one on every corner on every side of a cubicle building part. And on the biodomes, there again there are four on each one. Okay, we are doing the cubicle or the, this base. Ah. We're doing this building here, and now I've really messed up my build camera, so it looks really funny. I apologize for that. But now our round room is powered, as well as the hallway that's connected to it, and my hydroponic trays 
are powered. You'll notice they still have transformers on them. Don't worry about that. Uh, however, if you're building uh, a bunch of these next to each other in, for instance, a uh, freighter bay, sometimes those get in the way. Just move the things over one more square and you'll be fine. I only happen to have materials to build star brambles with me. So let's just build all the star brambles. So here again, we're coming into an unpowered uh, building. We want to build our hydroponic trays. In these uh, cubicle rooms, cuboid rooms, you can use the ones that are uh, four by fours. For some reason, they really like to place them half outside the wall. You can actually plant on that side of the wall. I don't know why you'd want to, but yeah, whatever. So when things aren't powered, they have this red pulsing light to them. But once you power them, which I will do uh, the same way I did the other one. Power! <coughs> power the building. And now everything in it is powered as well. I happen to like to put uh, walkways on every side of my hydroponic bays. That's just because uh, I find it easier to harvest from them that way. But you can harvest across, uh, like if I'm standing here, I can harvest the ones in the back and sometimes even on the next hydro hydroponic bay over. But I build them like this just because I find it easier. So. And now let's talk about biodomes. I really like biodomes, and I use them a lot. They use a lot of glass, but that's okay. I've pre-planted this one because I wanted to show a trick. These hold, I think they hold 16 plants all together if you don't have any hallways. But you'll notice that this hallway, which leads nowhere, has star bulbs right next to it, while this hallway does not. And not only that, I can't plant any there. I got these here very simply by planting everything first. Let me get rid of this one because we won't be able to harvest it later. Actually, we could. But if you plant all of these here, Not gonna let me do that anymore and then I put in my hallway it keeps these plants here and if I had kept that plant there it would also grow up through the stairs which can be problematic because then you can't walk through uh, into the hallway but you can always harvest it and then walk through so if you want to use those extra two slots delete this hallway, plant them, and then put the hallway back. It's not working for me right now. I think I'd have to save the game and restart it in order to get it to work. But you can see that it works and that I have the plants really close here. And I don't have them there. Now, the fact that this is blinking already is driving me nuts. And we wanted to talk about powering biodomes. They have the transformers like the other buildings do too. So all you do is get your wire and hook it into whatever your power grid is. The last way to build a hydro tray is just out on a, out on a flat floor. Flat floor. The snap to the center of uh, the flooring as you just saw and even though I'm in a lush biome I can plant, I think I have frost wart on me, yes. So even though I'm in a lush, a lush biome, I can plant frost wart out in the open. But even though all of these things are powered and power is being transferred through the concrete floor to all of these, it's not being transferred to the hydroponic tray. I don't know why, it's just, some someone in the discord the other day called it no man's glitch 
which I thought was was pretty funny. So when you build outside, you just have to wire all of the all of the hydro trays individually. That I hope is uh, the questions that you had about farming and how to do it. Uh, you can plant inside in the prefab rooms. You can plant in the cuboid rooms and make it look all sunny and glassy. You can build in the biodomes and you can just build out in the open, either in a hydro tray or if you happen to be in the right biome, just out in the, the grass or out in the dirt or, or wherever. One final tip, which I just think is hilarious. I built this this particular biodome using a circular uh, strut. If I delete this and use instead, do 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 do. Where is it? Structures, specialist, foundations, a, circ a cylindrical room frame. I have a, cyl a cylindrical room frame now on this biodome. You'll notice I also have one on this circular prefab room here. I go into the prefab room. Everything is normal. Do, 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 do. I can walk over the center. I go into the biodome, not so much. There's a giant frickin' hole in the middle of the room. Whee! I don't know why. It's just there. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you found this useful. And uh, because I'm uploading this to YouTube, I think I'm required by YouTube to say, please subscribe. I have maybe, maybe double digit subscribers now. I would be very surprised that I hit, if, if I hit 10, I'd be thrilled if I hit 10. I don't uh, pretend that I'm going to be anything like a YouTube sensation anytime soon. Um, you'll notice I did a couple of tricks here uh, in putting my concrete floor underneath the hallway and having uh, prefab rooms right up to the edge of a concrete room. I've shown how to do that in a couple of other videos which you can see on my channel. So I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day.